The purpose of this video is to help quality assurance personnel establish an easily executed measurement method that collects data on the straightness of extruded aluminum in reference to acceptable tolerances for twist and bow. Twist is defined as the extent to which a profile is twisted around its longitudinal axis, the exaggeration of which is represented here by a piece of spiral macaroni. Bow is the deviation of a longitudinal edge from a straight line, simply represented here by a piece of elbow macaroni. Twist and bow can be caused by a non-uniform extrusion right through the cross section, resulting in one portion of the profile winding over the other. Or, twist and bow can be caused by non-uniform contraction during cooling. As we can see on the cooling table, the extrusion on the right is still hot and hasn't bowed as much as the previous ones. This is usually corrected by the stretching process, reducing twist and bow to acceptable tolerances. The ends of the piece, which were distorted in the stretching process, are removed during secondary trimming operations. Table 11.7 .7 of ASND defines the standard tolerance for twist and extruded bar and profiles. Several footnotes are provided to assist in the uniform interpretation of these tolerances, and during this video, we will focus on footnotes 3, 6, and 9. Footnote 3, when weight of piece on the flat surface minimizes deviation. A common misinterpretation of this is to place the piece on a calibrated flat surface table in a horizontally configured position and then measure horizontally what appears to be a bow against the calibrated fixture sidewall. This is incorrect. When the profile of the piece is oriented in a vertical position, gravity forces down and flattens out the piece under its own weight, minimizing any deviation. In the case of tubular extrusions, they must be turned in a vertical arc position, then held in place as gravity takes over, flattening it out under its own weight. Simply placing it on the table and letting it roll on its side would create that false bow against the side wall. Footnote 6. Twist is normally measured by placing the extruded section on a flat surface and at any point along its length measuring the maximum distance between the bottom surface of the extruded section and the flat surface. From this measurement, the actual deviation of straightness of the extruded section at that point is subtracted. The remainder is the twist. To convert the standard twist tolerance, degrees to an equivalent linear value, the sign of the standard tolerance is multiplied by the width of the surface of the section that is on the flat surface. Footnote 9. Straightness must be meant in all orientations, including orientations that are not self-supporting. In expansion of footnote 3, this reinforces the need to orient measurements vertically, avoiding false readings due to measuring horizontally against the side wall. A cynical assumption some may have is that extruders choose the measurement method of profile positioning so that the weight of the piece on the flat surface minimizes deviation as a way of gaining an unfair advantage with the tolerance. This is not the case. In fact, the tolerance was created last in a series of developmental steps. Step 1. Define a repeatable measurement method that is easy to execute and requires minimal special equipment. Step 2. Using that measurement method, collect data on twist and bow. And finally, develop tolerances based on the data. Using easily executed measurement methods as described in this video will provide a correct and consistent check on standard tolerances of extruded aluminum stock from your supplier.